Hey everybody, Hans here. Hey, bringing you a pretty heavy lineup here this evening. Um, bourbons. So if you caught the short post that I dropped here uh, the other day, you'll know what's coming. If you did not check that one out, uh, we'll give you a kind of a rundown here. We got. I went ahead and pulled five uh, barrel proof uh, bourbons off the shelf for this evening. And we got them poured out here, and I'll show you those here in a second. But uh, give you kind of a rundown here. First one we'll be doing is the Penelope Barrel Strength, and that one is coming in at 112 proof. So I did just open this one up this evening. I have not had this one before. So interested to try that one out. This is a four grain. So it's got the corn, rye, wheat, and malted barley. And it is a straight bourbon whiskey. Next we'll be jumping into the Elijah Craig. This is a barrel proof. And I also have a private barrel, which is also a barrel proof uh, from Liquor Depot here in the Tampa Bay area. If you guys are looking for a good shop, check them out. Um, so the Elijah Craig barrel proof here comes in at 125.6. And it's a construct Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And coming number three this evening is Frey Ranch. And this one is a single barrel, uh, barrel strength, straight bourbon whiskey coming in at 124.22. And I did do a review on this one the other day. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Our number four contestant here is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. So this is a barrel proof bottle as well. Coming at coming in at 116.8. As you can see there on the collar. And I believe this would be number two proof wise. So the barrels the Penelope barrel strength is 112. Then you have the Rare Breed at 116.8. Then we jump to the Frey Ranch at 124.22, followed by the Barrel Proof at 125.6. And our last contestant here, Stag. This is a 22 Bravo batch. And this one comes in at 130 proof. So this will be the heavier, the highest proof that we try this evening. And uh, so that's the lineup for this for the tonight. Uh, again, these are all barrel proof, barrel strength bottles. So pretty high proofs. Uh, there's certainly higher proofs out there. But these are uh, all, in my opinion, these are all right in the, the sweet spot. Um, with with the 130 kind of being on the higher side there. But I've had, st I've had the stag before and you know, it's, a, it's an easy 130 to drink, great flavors. Um, so my goal for tonight is not to uh, review each individual drink. It's more or less to kind of compare the five uh, against one another. And I'll kind of put them in the order that I prefer them. Um, maybe down the road, uh, I will do a blind on these and, and compare that to, to the review that we're going to do this evening. And see how the blind does in in comparison to uh, the known pours. So, anyways, let's jump into the let, let's jump into trying some of these, and uh, we'll we'll put them in order, and I'll share my my take on it with you guys, and would love to see and hear your comments uh, and your thoughts on on the lineup as well. How would you rank these, you know, against each other? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you would please take a minute, hit that like button for me. Help, help share these videos. I appreciate the support. Uh, the smash on that like button really does help with getting these videos shared and circulated. Um, and if you're not a subscriber already, 
and would like to, I would appreciate it if you at least consider uh, subscribing to the channel and uh, sharing sharing in these uh, these bourbons and, and the different videos with us. So, anyways, let's jump into this. All right, everybody. Um, so uh, you'll see the camera moving around here a little bit as I as I move around the room. Uh, I'm using the DJI uh, stand here this evening. I'll drop a, a link for that one in the comments down below too. Pretty cool that it's got the tra tra uh, tracking mechanism here. So anyways, we're here for a barrel strength lineup. So let's get to that. Again, I'm going to start with uh, the Penelope this evening. I did pour these about 5 or 10 minutes prior to shooting this. Kind of let them open up a little bit. I have not had the Penelope barrel strength previous to tonight. So I'm you know, looking forward to this one on a couple different fronts. And again, this one comes in at 112 proof. So, I have had a couple of these up here this, uh, that are up here this evening. I've had them prior to tonight, uh, being Stag and Frey Ranch. And I would say right off the bat, just before I even try those again this evening, I'm, I, I know those two are going to be above the barrel strength uh, Penelope. The nose to me, you know, I get a lot of... of the, the, the alcohol fume kind of coming off of it. And even on the taste, I got a lot of that initial uh, ambush from the, the fumes kind of hitting me, hitting my palate. Now, that's not to say it's a bad drink. Um... But I'm getting a lot of just the spiciness over over my palate with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the Rare Breed. That one's next in the Proof lineup. So that one comes in at 116.8. Now, uh, believe it or not, I've not had Rare Breed before tonight. I've heard a lot of great things about this one. Been looking forward to it for a while now. And uh, really, that's... Between that one and the Frey Ranch that I just got last week, kind of drove tonight's lineup being the barrel proofs. So again, you know, nice, nice color. You know, when I compare it to um, the Penelope, it's definitely a richer, darker um, look. Penelope looks a bit thinner and a bit lighter for sure. So, I can tell you right now, Rare Breed, you know, it, again, I, I pick up those sweeter notes, the sugars, the caramels, and, and this one definitely delivers on that. Penelope didn't do that so much. I was picking up more spice um, on that one. Yeah, so... Rare breed for sure uh, has a lot more going on in my opinion. Uh, a more viscous drink, so you can feel it kind of roll over your tongue better. You pick up the flavors, the, uh, and kind of you know I get more of the caramel on the nose, but I do taste some of those sweeter notes uh, across the palate as well. That one, in my opinion, uh, stacks up on top of the the Penelope. Again, it's just a uh, more viscous, more enjoyable across the palate, more of those sweeter tones across my nose. Yeah, so that's a good one. Um, all right, so that's the rare breed. Now I'm going to jump to the Frey Ranch. So that one comes in at 124.22. And uh, I did do a review on this one the other night, and I was really impressed with it. Enjoyed it a lot. Um, so I'm, I'm 
Curious how it's going to line up here against the rear breed. Uh, rear breed's definitely got a nice, very nice pour, nice nose, and nice palate all around. So. Tell you what, let me take a drink of water here. Uh, if you guys haven't had limoncellos, I don't know. I, these things are awesome. I enjoy these a lot. So, Got to cleanse the palate a little bit here. Hit the reset button a little bit. So, Frey Ranch and the uh, Rare Breeds are somewhat comparable in terms of color and viscosity. I feel like I'm picking up more of the caramel notes off the Rare Breed than the Frey Ranch. Uh, the Frey Ranch is in, uh, very nice on the nose, very nice drink on the palate. Um, to me, there's a little bit of something missing there that the Rare Breed kind of, you know, covers. So currently at the moment I would put uh, the Frey Ranch slightly under Rare Breed. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on now to the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And this one comes in at 125.6. So just slightly higher than the Frey Ranch. And again, kind of looking at the color. You know, it's a, it's a nice deep rich color. The viscosity and kind of stick, see it sticking on the side of the cups, uh, the glass there. So again, kind of a nice, nice looking uh, juice there for sure, just on the surface. So I've not had Elijah Craig, um, the barrel proof, before tonight, and I would say I'm a bit surprised, being at th that this is at the higher. 125.6 proof. I don't get, you know, kind of that smack in the face that some of these have provided, such as the Penelope, which was lower proof. Um, and even the Rare Breed and the Frey Ranch had more going on on the nose than this one does. But that's definitely not to say it's an unpleasant, because what I am picking up is, is a pleasant, sweeter, kind of that brown sugary uh, caramel caramel note you know so I, it, it, it beats the mark there for me so I would say of the four that I've tried so far Elijah Craig surprised me the most it definitely has much more going on on the uh, palate than it does on the nose uh, it's kind of like a, a sleeper a sleeper bourbon, right? It's uh, you know it doesn't doesn't present a lot to me on the nose, but man, a lot of lot of flavor, a lot of lot going on there on the on the palate. Um, you know, get a little bit of that spiciness on the tip of my tongue, but I'm getting some of the sweeter notes towards the back end, and again, very pleasant pour. Um, was not was not over overbearing or overwhelming. Um, to drink. Yeah, so that's a, that's a good contender. Um, I have to think on that one. That one's good. So, okay. So that's now Done Penelope, Rare Breed, Frey Ranch, and Elijah Craig. So that leaves Stag as the the final here at 130 proof. And again, I've had Stag. Um, I was fortunate enough to find this bottle sitting on a shelf, and um, I think I just spilled it a little bit. Um, and and you know I. I I really enjoyed this one. I mean, this one, if you look at it, right, it's, 
it you can tell it's dark and rich and it's just it's just flavor packed full of flavor um and the nose to me you know is probably the most enjoyable part um it it it's got a lot of that caramel brown sugary i get a little bit of the proofiness coming across at 130 you get a little bit of those uh uh you know the alcohol content coming at you but it's not you know not something that's going to make your eyes water right it's it's a it's an enjoyable nose so And, you know, that one, when you take a drink of this one, you know, a lot of the other ones here, specifically Penelope, um, but even the other three, Rare Breed, Free Ranch, and Elijah Craig, you know, you get that taste across the palate, like across your tongue, right? This one, it's like a burst of flavor. I mean, I, I got flavor up on the roof of my mouth. From the pour i get it you know on the sides of my mouth um it's it's a really enjoyable pour and just an all-around solid solid bottle solid juice um so again that's the 22 bravo so all right, so I think what what I've got put together here, I don't know uh, if this will surprise anyone. And again, I would love to hear your, your thoughts and your comments um, in the comments down below. Because again, this is my take on these five. And uh, everybody has their own opinions. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Uh, but for me... My lineup goes as follows. Number five is the Penelope. That one, you know, definitely not a, a pour down the drain type bottle or give to your friends type bottle uh, when they come over because you don't like the juice. Um, it's just one of those that, you know, the nose wasn't super pleasant. Not terrible, but it wasn't super enjoyable. And the juice, you know, it was uh, low viscosity and kind of lingered or kind of kind of fell off quickly um, and didn't have a lot of those notes that 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 appeal to me um, after the Penelope it becomes very tough because the last four I really enjoyed all around anyways um, and I would definitely go to any one of these bottles any night of the week but I, I put number number four is Frey Ranch um, that one has just a different, it just has a different flavor profile, I think is, is quite honestly what it comes down to. You know, Elijah Craig and Rare Breeds have a little bit of that similar profile. And Frey Ranch, to me, it has a bit of a different profile. Um, again, this bottle I will enjoy to the very last drop. Um, but tonight it comes in number four. Following that, this was a close one. But I put the Elijah Craig in at number three. Um, again, really enjoyed it. Very nice, rich, tasty, great on the nose. Surprised me um, because on the nose you get very subtle, subtle hints, but on the taste buds, it it really you know shows off what it's got right. Um, so. Elijah Craig, number three. And, yeah, and at number two, I've got the Rare Breed. And, and so, um, you know, again, Rare Breed was the first, uh, first, first pour out of that bottle that I've had. Um, and, you know, I just really enjoyed the nose and the, and, and the palate. You know, Elijah Craig on the nose was a little bit subtle. And it was great on the palate. Rare Breed hit me right on the nose and on the palate. So that's kind of where Rare Breed took a little bit of a, a lead there um, over the Elijah Craig. 
And so that leaves coming in, you know, coming in first here for this evening, which, you know, I, a lot of people may not be surprised by this. And, and obviously, Stag's probably one of the more uh, pricey bottles that, 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 that was up here, um, you know, this evening, especially, you know, for paying over MSRP. You know, certainly not secondary, but but not MSRP on this one. Um, but, you know, I don't want to make it seem like just because it's the most expensive bottle up here, uh, it's the best bottle, right? Uh, I, I don't agree with that that philosophy by any means. But I, I will say that tonight, um, Stag, you know, it's just really great on the nose. It's a solid pour, solid drink, and has has a such a rich flavor that that just shares a lot of those good notes um it's a tough competitor in any lineup so uh kind of running through it again we've got the penelope uh number five prairie rancher number four elijah craig at number three rare breed at number two and coming in on top at 130 proof is stag so Again, uh, let me know your, your thoughts and, and kind of what your lineup would be, you know, down in the comments below. And uh, certainly uh, look forward to, to, to hearing what your thoughts are on this one. Um, let me know if, if you don't agree with this. Let me know why, right? Um, again, everybody's individual noses and palates are going to be a little bit different. Um, but, but let me know what your, what your thoughts are on this. Hit that like button for me, please. I appreciate the support that you guys are bringing to the channel. Help get these out there to share with other folks. Um, and if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing uh, to the channel. Uh, again, as always, thanks for your support. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Hope everybody has a good, good rest of your weekend. And we'll talk to you next time.